Hello, hi, how are you everyone? Hey, me and Michelle are here and we want to talk to you about some important stuff. No, don't, don't sign up. Help, I can't feel my twin. And we were just talking about this energy actually from the eclipse and now we've had a full moon. Um, how was it for you, Michelle? It seemed that everything was coming from every direction at me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Family elements um things that need to be dealt with with my family that are not pretty topics and all the uglies come up basically um oh yeah it's coming up in droves it's coming yeah. up in droves physically i had a lot of physical purgings happen and it was really um difficult uh ugly so I, just, I just said the word violent actually to make that more descriptive puking's never fun and it wasn't food poisoning all those things i just checked those off my list to know but it's all it was all energetic and then what else oh yeah stuff being dredged up from the past like from past work so there's work issues being brought back up to the surface for a resolution um what else hasn't happened oh people i've been meeting just randomly talking about violent things that have been happening to them um yeah and and their responses to it and their needs for their need for retribution and it's like is that really the right yeah. angle petty crime and like re revenge retaliation yeah tit for tat yeah there's a lot of mentalities they were dealing with and yeah like puking out of the gut mm -hmm. i felt lurchy like that too like you know because that's where a lot of this has resided. It's in the gut. And, you know, I think in a way, even though I talk about the energies and like you said, um, the word, one word you used resolution, like there's all these things coming home to roost now. How are we going to resolve them? And people aren't going to resolve them unless they learn to do the work with their light body. And, you know, this is always my go-to thing is, you know, uh, do the body scan what's really going on? Um, is it, like you said, is it food poisoning? Is it something energetic? Like you've gotten really good at that. I have pinpointing where things are coming from, but I also have never had hesitated to not go see my doctor. I always refer to my medical practitioners when I'm concerned about something. And just to have that sure. peace of mind, knowing that that is something that is crossed off the list of possibility or markers, you know, it's don't play with your health. If you're, you know, really concerned about something, always make sure you see a doctor. Yeah. It's very important, but also energetically can coincide along with these things, most likely do coincide with these things, but sometimes they are just purely energetic and they need to go out. We're just not a physical body. We are a spiritual body. We're energetic oh, yeah. body. It's just not just one body, many different bodies and layers. We are multi-layered human beings. Yeah. And our spirit doesn't want to live in the old paradigm where all that conflict and violence and petty theft and retaliation and honestly pettiness is you know getting blown out of proportion and i think you know you were saying around the eclipse the energy was rough also mm -hmm. yeah yeah it, it really was that's when i had my little purge fest um <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but during that time, I'm thinking, oh, just get yeah, this out of creepy. me. I'm going to it over. And yeah. it, it's creepy. It, it really Whatever is. needs my to liver, go, it get it out. Liver cleanse. And I did, I was, go ahead. Yeah, whatever. whatever yeah. And it wasn't like go, I was doing it. a liver cleanse intentionally. I wasn't drinking all that stuff. Yeah. It, it does. And that was just basically timed perfectly for the uh, eclipse, which I wish I actually got a chance to go see, but we didn't have it here in Canada from yeah. where I'm at. Um, you I were also to see it. Yeah. Yeah. You were also talking about, there was another top thing we were discussing along this thread, which I should have written well, down because my brain works really well. That's okay. Fast. I got it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it is that we want to ask people, have you become desensitized? If you're not feeling your twin, if you're going through a purge, if this is getting raw for you, or you're starting to feel apathetic and you don't really care a fig about this you know are you desensitized because 
let me tell you something. You are going to be on full spectrum of emotions. You're going to feel the incredible lows, but you're intended to feel the incredible highs. So, you know, this is the thing that happens. This is why, you know, whatever's deep inside us, it does get out. We have mm -hmm. to feel, we have to feel our guidance. We have to feel what's the appropriate next action. We have to feel ourselves being lifted up and away from these places. That's the ascension. And so, um, you know, how do you not know what's happening with your twin flame or do you care or do you not care? Can you <laughs> even feel them? Right. So, you know, and that's one thing that's really important that we, um, we coach people and we got people in is discerning, being able to discern. You ask someone how they're doing today. They're like, yeah, I'm fine. But it's like, are you really fine? Like, have yeah. you checked in with yourself? There are all these different techniques and steps that we use. And they're just not the mentality. They're just not using that brain and that psychology to figure this out. This is something that is advanced and it is totally unique. And it's it's been around for a very long time. However, it hasn't been put into the formats that we offer. Right. And using and working, doing the work, which is to open your brand new light body, utilize your brand new light body, deepen and use it for discernment, clarity, messaging signals from your higher self, all of that. And mainly for feeling love from each other so that you can alchemize what you need so that you can get your hormones, the feel good hormones, get off the drugs, Get off the booze, get off all the things that you use to numb out because life is too rough or life is, you know, crappy or it runs in your family. How would you like to alter that right now? And, you know, can you tune into them? So, you know, another thing, another question I want to pose here, like, all right, can you feel them in separation? You'll go through a patch where you're still supposed to do the work and not give up even when you don't feel them because they could be in hermit mode. And a lot of people that doesn't occur to them. How can you even detect that where they'll, there's ways to do this and, you know, getting your heart open, getting your heart energy opened on another level, which is the 5d level. That's important. So I mean, you've had instances of going up into the repair shop. How is your twin supposed to detect that? Or that's what we called it. We called it, yeah. <laughs> well, there is, and it's getting oriented to this new um, way of being. It takes, it doesn't, it's not something that you just take a pill for, or you just, you know, listen to a tape for. It's something that requires your attention and it requires your willingness and wanting to advance and, and actually achieve this wonderful yeah. state of um, being and living. It, it, it does take work. There's no, just add water and stir. It's not an insta thing. It takes work. And if you, when you require, when you wish to achieve these levels, which is, we're all here to do. There's no oh, yeah. exception. People cool. sign on for it. That's the thing that they forget. <laughs> they they <laughs> agreed to it. Mm -hmm. da, 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 I have a mission, but if you're not doing the work for your light body, then there's what no mission. You, what are you doing? You're just sitting around yeah. doing nothing. <laughs> you do can't something. put the cart before the horse. You have to do it for you first. And it ripples over to your twin flame and you can feel each other. We teach you how to feel each other and we do it very organically and without, you know, using some of the same old stuff, you know, not the text, not the phone, not the internet, really organic where you can really feel what's up with that. What's truly going on? What's behind the scenes on the other side? Because there is stuff. So can you did, um, we go on about this for hours, but it's all. Well, we have an hour, not now, but we have a no. workshop coming ah. up where we're <laughs> going to spend an hour every day, There's five more. consecutive days. <laughs> Join us for a week. See how different this work is to do the work because this is the work. 
I have had people who've said to me, I thought I was doing the work, but this is really the work. And that's true because if you're kind of up to here with being codependent on psychics, codependent on tarot readings to be like, well, what's happening? And it's all kind of floaty for you. Let's get some real organic clarity. And when I say organic, I mean, right into your organs, right into your eyes, your mind, your dream time, like really get it in there because it is deep. This love is deep. So what are you codependent on? But we're not Should gonna you do it not free. be being self-reliant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Higher self-reliance means that you can do this. And we're here to help you do it. We teach it. We guide you. And you get to share all the fabulous results with us that have happened for you. Because... Here's the thing. You can't just go around saying, but I can't feel anything anymore. Let's get back to feeling and let's get back to being who we are. Do things, create things by being who we truly are. Your highest and best self. So we hope you can join us. Please check the description below for the links or somewhere here where you can... Um, have the uh, link that you click to join us. Get the book, which is a journaling workbook with instructions in it. That's a companion to this. But if you don't want to get it, that's okay. Join the class. I guarantee you'll want to get the book. Yep. There's the book. Get the book. Get the yes. book. <laughs> it's so, so it's really, really uh, helpful. It's a great tool to have. Yeah. So if you're up there saying help, I can't, okay, just those words, help, I can't. Those three words, I'm going to say you are loved. We're here to help. Let us help you with it. Hey, okay. thanks, Michelle. Uh, Thank we you, hope Patricia. to see a lot of you here. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. Bye.